Welcome to the Prophecy Club. I could talk a whole lot more than what I'm going to bring you today on these topics. First of all, we're going to talk about Russia, some updated scary information, and also some scary information about robots and the technology and just how far it has really come. And I don't think we know half of it. And more information on more food shortages. Okay, let's get started. First of all, uh, Terry Bennett said that the economy of the nation will be greatly reduced. Food shortages will be normal. Hunger will be great. Disease will become a plague type of proportions in some areas. Then Chris Reed said he saw a newspaper headline that said food shortage crisis as wheat and bread imports are at a stalemate. Now, that's the first thing we're going to talk about is some of the food shortages. Fears of worsening egg shortage in New Zealand as fire kills 500,000 hens at a farm. Okay, now, so <laughs> why, why are we concerned about New Zealand? Because they're doing the same thing around the globe. They're not just trying to bring a food shortage to just America. They're trying to bring a food shortage around the world. Why? Because the beast does not want just people in America to worship him. He wants every beating heart and every breathing lung to bend the knee and worship him. So it's got to be a global issue. A fire of the New Zealand's largest egg producer has killed about 50,000 hens, sparking fears that a national egg shortage could worsen. The fire may have ripple effects beyond the immediate demise of the hens with concerns it may worsen a national scarcity of eggs. You know, same thing's happening here. But would you like to guess whether they found what started the fire? Or has there been an arrest? Well, the article didn't say, but my guess is they don't know what started the fire and no one's been arrested because, again, it's scalar wave. This is a continuation of the article. 50,000 pounds of sausage has also been uh, re re recalled. And it goes on to giving you a list of all of the things that have been recalled. Now, this one is not necessarily talking about New Zealand. This is talking about America. And one of them <laughs> right here is, when I go and buy lunch meat, many times, boar's head is what I buy. So I may see that my lunch meat is no longer available. First reading, a dairy farmer decries mandatory milk dumping to keep prices high. I did not realize that Canada is as much of a socialist or communist country as apparently they are, because apparently this has been a practice in Canada for many years, that they tell the farmers you can only produce so much milk. And if you produce more than that, this video is about to tell you what they have to do. So right now we're over our quota. Um... It's regulated by the government and by the DFO. But the problem is, is what they don't understand is millions of people look at this milk running away because it's the end of the month. So I have to dump, I dump 30,000 liters of milk and it breaks my heart. I will show you. By the way, this here, Canadian milk, it's $7 a liter. When I go for my haircut, people say, wow, $7, Jerry, for a little bit of milk. I say, well, you have to go higher up because we have no say anymore as a dairy farmer on our own farm because they, uh, they, they make us dump it. And no matter how we stand up, so this time I'm going public. I want the people to see the pain that us growers have. Third ledger, largest egg farm burns. Food prices spiking again and inflation set to increase exponentially in 2023, now that millions of barrels of oil aren't being dumped on the open market by Biden. Wait a minute. Egg farm? I thought that was talking about New Zealand. It was in New Zealand, but guess what? It's not just New Zealand. In 2021-2022, more than 100 food plants manufacturing and processing were destroyed. No surprise. Whether by fire, explosions, even two planes crashed into the plants all at a time when the food supply chain was already compromised from the COVID lockdowns. 
Some of those destroyed in 2022 were not entire plants or farms, but rather the destruction of chickens, two examples being 1,746,900 chickens destroyed at an egg farm, 259,000 chickens destroyed at another farm in Minnesota, both in 2022. Is it any wonder we are seeing egg shortages, with some shortages limiting the purchase of cartons of eggs to two per person, as well as the unprecedented spiking of egg prices across the nation? An image sent from a reader on January 27th shows a carton of 18 egg whites or egg, white eggs, not organic, at $7.36 in North Carolina. We see news of a huge fire at the third largest egg farm in the United States. The fire was so massive that 21 fire departments, 21 fire departments were deployed. Local reports indicated roughly 100,000 egg-laying hens perished in the fire. So it's not just New Zealand. And I might add, it's not just America. It's all around the globe. See, because the scalar wave, can, it can destroy just, I mean, anything in the air, on the land, on the sea, under the sea, any place on the globe, anytime it wants to. And it's probably located in one of those underground laboratories that we'll never find. Breadline USA, 8 million Americans earning more than 100,000 a year are living paycheck to paycheck. Disturbing study reveals as inflation continues to decimate earnings. So at the same time, our eggs are being destroyed. A lot of our food sources are being destroyed. So is our paycheck. On top of that, an avian flu outbreak has sharply curtailed the national supply of eggs, sending prices soaring in 2022. The national average price for a dozen grade A large eggs soared from $4.25 up $140 cents from $1.79 a year ago. More than 43 million of 58 million birds slaughtered over the past year to control the virus outbreak. Break, and I read one of the articles. The uh, farmers said, well, they showed up and they tested some of the, the chickens. And they said, oh, they've got a virus. He said, but we saw no proof that they had a virus. Nevertheless, we had to kill all of our chickens. Oh, well, they're going to give you money to make this up. Well, they never gave him money to, to make it up. And the family farm went bankrupt. Why? They never proved that the chickens were even sick. Surge in egg prices. So there you go. You can see what has happened. Well, they're not doing this to raise the prices of eggs. They're doing this because they want so that no man might buy or sell, say we had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's where it's really going. Now let's talk about Russia. Sad to say a bunch more bad stuff about Russia. Byron Surley said, my son, war is now upon the world, and my judgments are set to commence. Then, Vicky Goforth Parnell was told, your time of grace or parole, as your world would refer to it, is now revoked and over. The seven thunders will now begin, which is release the giants. War will no longer be contained to one area, and we are seeing that. But the spreading of it shall progress like a disease, a blight upon the earth itself. Then, she said in another one, she was told, Babylon must fall. That's America. War must break out across your world so nations once strong can be weakened, allowing the man of sin or Antichrist to now be able to have the dominant power to control your world. His forces are already upon your world, in your world, but many refuse to see it. Now, Iran announces CPAM system, connecting Russia and Iran banks and others in 13 countries. What are they doing? They are replacing the dollar as the world currency. When they do that, these other countries are going to start dumping their dollars. When they do, the value of the dollar will fall like a rock. Many prophecies say it goes from 100% down 30%, down, per, down 30%, down to 50%, down to 66%, and finally it's worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. An Iranian banking official revealed Thursday that all Russian banks and 106 banks in 13 other countries have been connected to Iran's financial messaging system known as CPAM. With CPAM, Iranian banks are no longer in need of the Society for Worldwide International Financial Telecommunication, or the SWIFT system. The deputy commander or deputy governor of the Central Bank of Iran confirmed this. 
The move was the first step of the Joint Action Plan for banking cooperation between Iran and Russia. Now, The Sun says Putin is mobilizing 200,000 troops for a new invasion to topple Ukraine, and he won't stop, warns the NATO chief. May I humbly say that we've been saying that the Bible says the same thing. The Bible says that once the beast starts rampaging, he's not going to stop until he gets three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. The Bible says, arise and devour much flesh. And once he starts, and he started February 22nd of 2022, he's not going to stop until it concludes at Armageddon when Jesus returns. You know, I still don't want to say that we're in the tribulation, but frankly, it's getting very, very close. Very, very close to me having to finally admit that we are in the tribulation. And at this point, I don't know what it is. I don't know that that I'm waiting for, because there's a lot of signs. NATO Secretary General said, There is no sign that Vladimir Putin is preparing for peace. Instead, he's readying 200,000 soldiers to attack Ukraine. Russia is preparing for more war, just as Vicky Goforth Parnell said. Ahead of the conflict's first adversary, uh, anniversary, may be rendering for a massive new offensive. Russia winning in Ukraine would empower dictators and make the world more dangerous. He warned Putin will not sit down at a table while he still believes it can win on the battlefield. World Health Organization recommends stockpiling meds for radiological catastrophe. What? What's he saying? Well, here's the way we say that. We recommend you get ready for nuclear war. (laughs) We would recommend that if you have, for example, prescription meds, that you absolutely positively have to have to continue life, then I would suggest you get all of the extras you possibly can. Stan, you can't do that. I know. I'm 69. I'm in the same system you are. And getting extra prescriptions is practically impossible. Nevertheless, I'm still advising you to do it if you can. The World Health Organization says that governments need to have treatments available for citizens exposed to radiation. If you wait for the government to take care of you in case of a radioactive exposure, I want to say something mean like you're a fool, but I'm not going to say that. (laughs) Instead, I'm going to say you're not preparing very well. A new World Health Organization report calls for an increased global preparedness for radiological and nuclear emergencies, but they don't spell out exactly what you're supposed to do. Governments need to make treatments available for those in need and fast. Okay, so what do you do? Well, potassium iodide is a quick, easy, simple, and cheap solution. It doesn't fix everything, but it fixes most things. When a nuclear device is detonated, the wind blows the dust, settling on everything around you. It's like a powder. You breathe, you eat, you absorb radioactive iodine, which kills your thyroid, killing you. A simple fix is to immediately take potassium iodate pills, which flood your thyroid with good iodine, keeping the radioactive iodine out. You need one bottle per person per exposure. That includes infants. You get one bottle for $30 each, but I would suggest you get six of them for $150. And right now, just checked, we have 230 bottles in stock. Now that I just said this, those 230 bottles will probably be gone in 24 hours. You can order them at prophecyclub.com. Now let's talk about robots. Robots? Yeah. Sad to say, it's getting real serious. There is far more going on behind the scenes than most people ever imagined. In secret facilities... Vicky Goforth Parnell has told us about this. Okay, this is not new. In secret facilities all over the planet, scientists are pushing the envelope far beyond what most people thought was possible. They are developing technologies that are decades ahead of what the general public has access to right now. And in many cases, little regard is being given to any moral or ethical lines that are being crossed. Why? Because they're building. All of this technology, the greatest, or we read this yesterday, 
Straight out of Joel chapter 2. They're building the greatest army in human existence to fight Jesus when he returns for Armageddon. Now, he's going to destroy them in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. It's not going to be a problem. But <laughs> Lucifer's lied to his people just like he lies to us. He's told them, we can beat Jesus. No, <laughs> he, he's not going to make that easy. But that's what they're doing. They're preparing to fight Jesus at Armageddon. Unfortunately, many of these new technologies are being designed to be used on us. Yeah, they'll use them on us, but the whole objective is to use them against Israel, specifically when Jesus returns to protect Israel. The Big Brother control grid that we see all around us is going to continue to evolve, and each new improvement will give the elite system more control. Ultimately, the goal is to get everyone to be completely and utterly dependent upon the system that they have created, and anyone that chooses not to be a good servant of that system will be dealt with ruthlessly. Yes, it's called cutting their head off. So the no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Perhaps you think that you will be able to fight against the system when it gets to that point. But what you're going to do when they send, or what are you going to do when they send shape-shifting robots made out of liquid metal against you? Scientists have created a liquid metal Terminator-style robot. Yep, apparently they really have. The human-shaped droid can flow through the bars of a cage before rebuilding itself, like the rogue cop cyborg in Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator 2. I was quite surprised to learn that this technology had been made public, as well as shape-shifting. <laughs> Again, Parnell told us this. The engineers say their robots are magnetic and can conduct electricity. Dr. Pan's team made the new material a magnetoactive solid liquid phase transitional machine by embedding magnetic particles in gallium, a metal with a very low melting point of 29.8 degrees centigrade. I don't exactly know what that is, but I'm pretty sure that's not too hot. The field of artificial intelligence is progressing at an exponential rate and entire armies of super intelligent attack robots are being created that can perform synchronized tasks with a precision that is absolutely breathtaking. In the not too distant future, the elite will have access to ultra efficient robots that are much stronger than you, much faster than you, much smarter than you. Human employees are becoming a thing of the past. Robot employees are the future. New surveillance technologies are now being used against us all over the globe. Let me remind you, we have 11 active prophecies that say that the dollar is going to fall. From 100%, 66, 50, 30%, all the way down to worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. And that means that there might be a time when you check your account, your bank account, and all of a sudden you have 30% less, or maybe 66% less. So what do you do? Well, the only thing you can do is put it in something that the bank doesn't have access to. And that might be gold and silver. And if you want to do that, and I have, then I would suggest you go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. Cornerstoneassetmetals.com. And don't, don't put it in a piece of paper where it's off in some storage bin someplace. Keep it safe where you can have access to it, but it won't be stolen. Good luck with that. Next thing is we have 14 active prophecies saying that there's going to be a food shortage. As a matter of fact, I haven't updated that. That's actually now 15. 15. And for that, most of your long-term storage places, nine or $10,000 to feed one person for one year. I'll say it again. nine to $10,000 to feed one person for one year. But at Joseph's Kitchen, you can do it for about $1,000 per person per year. That's the reason so many people are going to josephskitchen.com. When you go there, 
there, there's several videos to watch. They'll show you how to make bread and everything. What you want to do is get the machine package. That's the mechanical things you need to make bread. Then you decide how much food you want to have. You want to have food for one person a year, two people a year, four people a year, six people a year. And I suggest you get more than you think you need because it comes to you in wheat berries and they're good for probably some 25 years. I mean, they're infused with nitrogen. They're put into a, a, a plastic pail so that varmints won't get into them. Next thing, we also have 17 prophecies say that a meteor is going to hit just south uh, or just west of Puerto Rico, a little island called Mona Island, and that's going to cause a tsunami going up the eastern seaboard. But where it hits is also an earthquake fault, and that opens up the, the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico and causes large chunks of California to fall into the ocean all the way up into Alaska. Yes, that would pretty much destroy America. That's what, and I got 17 of those prophecies. And they say that we do it, or God does it, because we split Israel. So for that, again, I'm going to send you josephkitchen.com and use the promo code Prophecy Club. It helps your Prophecy Club. Next thing is I have 32, and I think that's gone up to 33 now. I need to update that too. 32 prophecies that says that there's going to be suitcase nukes set off all across America, including one of them was Dimitri Dudeman and Michael Bulldale. When that happens, it puts off, off an EMP, electromagnetic pulse. It fries every computer chip within a pretty large distance. And if you are close, that means your car won't start. Matter of fact, if you have one of those electronic locks, it won't even unlock. It also fries the computers and all your house, your cell phones, and all sorts of the refrigerators are dead. Okay, They are all run by computer chips these days. And that also means probably that the electronic grid is going to go down and it's probably not coming back for several months. It might not ever come back again. So for that, I'll send you to empshield.com, empshield.com. If you use the promo code Prophecy Club, that helps, or you use Prophecy, helps the Prophecy Club. And we have seven that say that the Russians are going to attack America in a surprise nuclear event. And for that, I'll suggest you ask Jesus into your heart. Matter of fact, I was playing racquetball tonight, and I wanted to make sure my Russian buddy was actually saved. He'd asked Jesus into his heart once before, but I thought, I was just impressed to just turn to him. And I said, by the way, Victor, you have asked Jesus to forgive you your sins, haven't you? And he said, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, good enough. Lord, you heard that. <laughs> have you asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins? He's the only one that can wash them away. It can be just that simple. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. You should go on to say, be my Lord and Savior. There's some other things you need to do, but it starts with that. And if you want to know more about the Russians' attack, then I will send you to prophecyclub.com. Prophecyclub.com. You want to get the book, God's Warnings to America, and you probably also want to get the Watchman's Package, that's a package of several books and charts and everything like that. Because I'm called to raise up an army of end-time prophecy teachers walking and working in miracles. Sevenfold miracles. Ask Jesus into your heart. We are so excited to offer you our new product. At josephskitchen.com, go check out our new spreadable honeys. You and your family are going to love them. We have pumpkin, pecan, cinnamon, and original. It's great to put in your coffee or your tea on your brand new loaf of homemade, healthy whole wheat bread. Don't miss out on this holiday offer. Go to josephskitchen.com or call the number on your screen today. Terry Sokka of cornerstoneassetmetals.com. So why should people call you today? This is no longer a United States of America issue. In 2023, there will be a systemic global recession that is going to deepen, and we better protect our assets now because the dollar is not going to survive that like we think. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. Give them a call. Talk to them. Just uh, open an account. Start a dialogue and see where the Lord wants to take you. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. Also, I want to recommend you get my Watchman package. I haven't talked about this in a while, but I got them right here. 
In this watchman's package, you get two of these two foot by three foot big charts. Okay, that's one chart. Let me show you the other chart here. And here's the other chart. So these great big charts, two foot by three foot charts. And they are, uh, they're vinyl. They are very nice. Put them up on the wall, two foot by three foot. And I've got them right here. Of course, it's just eight and a half by 14 charts, so I can refer to them. But if I had a wall a little closer to me, I'd put these up here. Also, you get my handwritten book of Revelation. This is where I hand wrote out the book of Revelation all the way through it, all of the scriptures, and I memorized it. Now, all of this, this has all of my notes in it. Here, let me pick a page that has some notes. See out in the margin there? It has notes. What I think these scriptures are talking about. And then, last year, I did a School of the Watchmen. And it was like 18 hours, I think it was. It's on five DVDs. We're putting all that together with uh, five copies of my very powerful book, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. It's valued at $355 for a gift of $200. You get both charts. You get the five discs. You get my book. And my book, <laughs> my book and my book, all for a gift of $200, a very, very good deal. Also, I recommend you go to prophecyclub.com and get all five of my books. And I didn't write this one, but I did organize it. You get How Pre-Trib 1, Daniel, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy, Miss the Mark, and you get one set of each of them, which is actually 40 books for a gift of $100 at prophecyclub.com. And if you need to have, if you don't have this right here on your car, y'all want to get it. This is an EMP shield device. This one goes on a car. All you have to do, it's simple. They have videos show you, but you just put the black wire on the black side of your battery. The green wire attaches to the body of the car and the red wire attaches to the red side of the battery. And then the back peels off. You don't even have to put any holes in your car. Back peels off. You stick it someplace under your hood. Takes about 10 minutes for us people that are not mechanically inclined. Probably people mechanically inclined more like five minutes to put it on. And then you're good to go. If you'll go to empshield.com, put in the uh, promo code PROPHECY, you get a $50 discount for everything that you order there. Good deal.